Welcome to the IRC tutorial, IRC Reference Analytics. This video provides an overview of Reference Analytics and the Read Scale. Featured is information needed to select the correct data sets for entering reference transactions, adding transactions, using predefined questions, and choosing data fields. IRC student account information and login credentials are located in the IRC tutorial booklet and on the bottom of the IRC desk computer keyboard. Remember, login information is confidential and should never be shared. Log in to LibApps using the IRC account credentials. Enter the IRC email, the account password, and log in to LibApps. Select AU Library Fax. Choose Reference Analytics from the menu and add transactions. The Instructional Resource Center is the default data set for this account. The Add Transaction banner is green. If a color other than green displays, use the drop down menu to immediately return to the correct data set. The Add Transaction page is divided into three sections. The first is entering questions and answers. Two open areas are available for entering the question. The first is for short questions. The second for additional information as needed. You also have an option for predefined questions. Use these during scavenger hunt activities. To the right of the question box is the answer area. When entering answers, provide as much detail as necessary. The example question we're working with has to do with Ellis and Dyes. The next section connects questions to the IRC facts page. An option to include the current transaction in the knowledge base and a search box is available to look for answers in the same. The timestamp records when a transaction is entered. If needed, adjustments can be made. Answered by should always say AU Library IRC. It is the name of the account being used to enter questions. Enter your name into the internal notes field. All student workers share the same IRC account. This area helps if the curriculum librarian has questions about an entry. The read scale is used to provide details about activities, efforts, skills, and knowledge required to answer questions Rank the questions on a scale from 1 to 6 using the adapted rescale available in the IRC. You may also use the general scale available when you click on the icon. The example question asked will be ranked a 2 or 3. It requires some specific knowledge and available resources. The next area provides information about the question. There are seven categories presented. Patron, Question Ask, IRC Question, Library Question, Time Spent, IRC Liaison Question, and Library Reference Question. The question about Ellis and Dyes was asked by a student in person in the IRC. It was about equipment and it took two to five minutes to answer. Keep in mind, not all categories will be used for every transaction. Select only those that pertain to the question being asked and leave all the other ones blank. If you change your mind, use the link at the bottom of the page to deselect and choose again. Enter the question into Reference Analytics by clicking Submit and Clear. The form is now ready for another transaction. You may also choose to submit. What's the difference? Submit leaves the analytics field selected. Submit and clear clears all the analytics fields so when you're submitting the new transaction you have a clear form. Take time to review step 2 IRC reference analytics in the module before completing the quick check. And remember Please feel free to ask questions or review the tutorial booklet as needed. 